Florida got it right, Texas got it right, and guess what? Now it's time for all the states to follow their lead. Governor DeSantis now looks like a genius. Ron DeSantis of Florida, the governor, doing a fantastic job in Florida. Governor, those dire predictions have not come true. They look to Florida and they look at Texas that have reopened and it hasn't led to a massive second wave. In a very real sense, uh, uh, Florida is leading the way. It's been two months and Florida has figured out how to manage this pretty effectively. Governor DeSantis, who's doing a phenomenal job, the state of Florida, which happens to be my great home state. I can't get to Florida or Texas fast enough. And I think there's plenty of people thinking the exact same way. How much longer are you going to keep me out of your state? I would like to go visit. When am I record, allowed Sean? back in? We're glad you're opening up. We're ready to have some sunshine and get out of the house. It's great to be in Florida, and I'm going to be back here in a week. And I've always wanted to move to Texas. Now I think I have to. Governor of Texas, Greg Abbott, he knows what he's doing. He's a great governor. Governor Greg Abbott, we can learn a lot from you and a lot from Governor DeSantis, but we can also learn a lot from Governor Cuomo and Governor Murphy what not to do because they did the opposite of what you guys did. Texas, Florida gave us clues. Take the success clues. The successes of Florida, Texas, the failures of New York, New Jersey. We got to get the whole country open like Tennessee and Texas and Florida. He's got it in great shape, Texas. Florida's doing very well. How did you do it? Because we need to learn as we reopen. Great job down there. Keep up the great work. You did a great job. You saved a lot of lives and there's a lot to learn from your success. Yeah. Maybe not a great idea to take a victory lap in the middle of a pandemic. And I know there's a lot of politics tied up with who's rooting for which states and policies to succeed, but people, we need to understand, coronavirus has no politics. It doesn't give a shit what state you live in. Coronavirus is the most bipartisan thing to happen to America since hating Jussie Smollett. And celebrating too soon and letting its guard down could basically guarantee that America is not going to beat this virus. Yeah, and if you want a visual representation of what that means, here it is. This, folks. I mean, the guy had, what, a 200-foot head start? At least. Look at this guy go. This guy is beautiful. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> the guy, yeah. the guy thought, he thought he was going to win. Exactly. <laughs> yes, you see, if you're not flattening the curve, you're flattening your face. But let's move on to one of the latest developments in one of the biggest true crime stories of the decade. It involves Jeffrey Epstein and his right-hand woman. Breaking news here, Ghislaine Maxwell, the longtime friend and confidant of Jeffrey Epstein, has been denied bail after pleading not guilty in court today. She's charged with helping Epstein sexually abuse underage girls. Her attorneys had wanted her release from jail due to coronavirus. Prosecutors, however, argued that she's a flight risk, saying that she ran from officers when she was arrested. During a search of the house where she was hiding, FBI agents reported finding a cell phone that was wrapped in tinfoil in an effort to evade detection. She has denied any wrongdoing. Wow. Elaine Maxwell was so paranoid that she wrapped her cell phone in tinfoil. And I'm not gonna lie, she's really a confusing woman. Because on the one hand, she allegedly ran Epstein's pedophile ring, but she also thinks wrapping her phone in tinfoil makes it untraceable? How is Ghislaine a criminal mastermind and everyone's grandma at the same time? I mean, if you're getting chased by the FBI, just get rid of your phone. How obsessed are you with your phone that you're like, I should ditch my phone so the FBI can't track me. Ooh, but then how will I check my mentions? But this arrest is big news. Because remember, other than Jeffrey Epstein, Ghislaine Maxwell is the only person who potentially knows all the other men who were involved in this pedophile sex ring. And one of the big questions now is whether she's gonna implicate anyone else like Prince Andrew, which would be a major development because that story would absolutely dominate the British press. Unless of course, Meghan Markle bought the wrong kind of avocado that week or something. But other than that, it would be the top story.